Hello, my name is Robin McIver, and this is my uh, design process for the character of Owen Le Fay. This is a time lapse video of the entire process of drawing from character iterations to final design. The whole process took roughly around 14 hours. I've been working on this project now for a couple of months, and uh, the aim of this project is to create various uh, concept art for a game that Hades like, rogue like type of game. Uh, and over the last couple of months, I've done various concept art that include landscape designs, character designs, prop designs, and in game assets. Now that I've pretty much uh, finished the project, um, I went back to the character designs uh, one last time because I, I feel like uh, this game needed a proper protagonist. So I decided to come up with this character, Owen Le Fay. The original idea is that he is the son of uh, Morgan Le Fay. So I wanted like to show like characteristics, visual iconography similar to that of Morgan Le Fay. I wanted him to be quite quick and nimble. So with those two elements, um, I decided to go for a more triangle based design for this character which basically means the character design will have more sharper angles, more diagonal. So with these ideas in mind, I come to the first stage of uh, designing the character on Le Fay. I want to get as many iterations out as possible. I, I suppose a brainstorming phase where I just uh, draw out different like, costumes uh, for Owen and um, keep on building upon it, uh, working on it, uh, see explore different ideas and um, follow them through, see what works, see what doesn't, throw out what doesn't work and iterate again on like some things that, that I, I, I liked and work with them. So at this stage I've uh, drawn a cape uh, on the main protagonist uh, and I thought the cape was quite like striking. piece of costume to have, you can have him flowing uh, as he's running around, it gives you idea of the character being fast and nimble so I've worked with some capes with this character throughout many different iterations as it goes on. Um, I've also, you, you looking at references, uh, medieval kind of armors, medieval clothes, um, like renaissance clothes and just kind of mix and match them. At this point now, I'm starting to go into more detail. Um, I've done a fair few costume designs now, and I kind of wanted to get an idea of how his face will look, um, his kind of his counter, his personality. I have had an idea of like having quite like rough, kind of like rugged kind of character, and now I'm basically just experimenting, iterating on a uh, face design. And it's a good way to mix it up after doing so many costume designs, uh, try something a bit different. Here I have not actually settled down on what kind of uh, hair to give the main protagonist yet. Uh, as you see layer one, I will go through quite a few variations on the hair.
this point now I'm basically just uh, drawing the character from a different angle, uh, give him a more dynamic pose. Uh, see see how it looks. Decide against this pose in the end. It looked a bit a bit naff. So uh, when I'm gonna do different poses. At this stage now I'm basically doing iterations of uh, his hair, so I just uh, keep on uh, drawing his hair until I find one that I like, one that suits, I think suits his character.
here's the preliminary um, color design this is once again very rough you don't want to spend so long on like one idea so uh, just putting in the rough block color here at the moment to give myself a general idea of how the color palette would look um, so yeah initially the cape is black uh, but I, I end up doing like a lot more variations and um, the cape end up sticking to red for the longest time I really like the red cape it kind of like symbolizes passion and anger and uh, I thought that would be a cool thing for this character to have the only problem was uh, after looking at the other characters I've designed there's way too much red in every character uh, King Arthur has a red cape uh, Morgan Le Fay has uh, all her costume basically all in red. I had to change it, so I changed it to, to green. It makes him look more approachable and elf like as well, which I thought would be good characteristics to have since he already, already looks a bit rough. You kind of want to have the character looking uh, at least a bit approachable. Before I finalise with the final pose, uh, before I go back over it, uh, try and experiment with different uh, poses, uh, see if I get anything look more interesting. Uh, I ended up with uh, back to my original drawing. So at this stage now, it's uh, getting more finalised uh, the character design. Uh, I'm happy with uh, all the elements now, uh, the hair, the costume, um, and uh, yeah, now from here, we go on to the next stage of uh, drawing the character, um, and it's basically like the clean line art stage. Um, so I go over this whole thing again, but, um, with sharper lines. Now that I've got the rough down settled, I can go over it. I uh, created uh, the mesh look by first creating a single uh, ring um, and then multiplying it uh, like duplicating the layer get two and then like do it again and again multiply and multiply uh, so once I create the mesh I'll use that as a base uh, layer and then duplicate from that and then from there basically when I move it over the arm or leg for example, um, use the transform tool, so that's Control T in Photoshop, um, and then when you right, right click it, uh, you change um, the warp setting on it, uh, and that way you can move around uh, the mesh uh, to fit the form of the hand or leg or whatever examples are presented. And then once I finish the clean line up, the next stage is block color phase. This is the easiest part to do. I'm basically just filling in every major aspect of the character in different colors on their own layers. It's not important at this stage how accurate the color is. Um, I've got a reference there, but like if it's just a bit off, it's not a problem because I, because each of the colors are on their own separate layer. I can always adjust uh, the colors later on once all the block colors are down. Uh, so it's the easiest part, but it also can be quite time consuming to go in there and um, do the colors of every little bit here and there and make sure it's within the lines.
Now, once I got the block color in, uh, next stage is uh, I'm going to start putting on the lights, how the light reflects off different parts of the body as well. Materials. The best way I go about doing this is create a duplicate of uh, what I've got so far um, and create a small version and basically create notes on the small version of where the lights will be coming in, what angles they'll be coming in, um, and figuring out um, what kind of colours uh, the lights would be on the different materials and different fabrics and different colour fabrics. Now at this stage is the first uh, shade level. Um, this is uh, like the universal shadow. I've intentionally made it uh, cool shadows, so I'm going to have warm lights. Um, so the cool shadows are going to be blues. Uh, I create this all in one layer and pull it on multiply. Um, so that way uh, the, the blue would uh, blend with the colours underneath it and uh, create some really good shadows. Now I'm just uh, colouring in the details. Um, so with the hair for example, uh, put highlights here and there. Um, create like texture on the shaved part of the head uh, and basically I'll be doing this pan throughout the entire uh, body basically adding lights here and there At this point now I'm fine tuning, uh, adding extra lights here and there, uh, give it more of a kick. Uh, so uh, lights in the bottom and other areas of light and shadows. Overall the project was actually quite fast and smooth compared to the others. Everything just seemed to be going right, right here. I still spend a lot of time in the iteration process than I should really do. I think for future reference I'll turn be a little bit more faster or don't do as many iterations and get working on the main piece. Um, with this main piece now I've done, I didn't really have any problems with it. It just, um, everything just clicked. I think after doing like five characters prior to this, um, I, I kind of got used to the style and uh, basically just meant it was a lot faster. So I was quite happy with how this uh, character turned out. So it's kind of how I envisioned him to be. Uh, it's meant to look a bit tough since he's a uh, Morgan Le Fay's uh, son. Also, he has a bit of like a modern look to him as well. And uh, yeah, I just generally think it looks uh, quite cool. Quite happy how it played out. Anyway, that was my art process. Thanks for watching.